Hello and welcome to another video in where I show you everything you need to know about the Ken Multi Metal Master MMM22. Disclaimer, this is not the greatest pedal in the world. This is just a tribute. Again. Ken Multi seems to be one of those generic Japanese brand names from the 80s and 90s that were specialized in building clone pedals. And this is as well a clone pedal, of course, of the Boss HM2. We have a solid plastic housing that looks close to the Aria Ultra Metal that itself looks very close to the Arion Metal Master. All three were made in Japan. The knob layout is pretty standard. We have the level control, the distortion control and a low and a high knob. What's quite interesting is that we have on the back the serial number and here it says for a C adapter they suggest the Area DP series. So Ken Multi suggests Area. Whatever that means. I expect that it sounds very close to the area. It seems to be almost identical except for this one is gray and this one is black. Anyways, oh no, one more thing. It also has this rubber knob here that hides the second output that the Arion had. Anyways, now let's go to the EQ curves. I'm a bit stubborn. Okay. A bit lower low peak. Mid gap seems to be accurate. High peak just one at around you know, 1K. Also a bit lower. Overall, volume seems to be lower. But what is this? Centered around five. As loud as the high peak. Okay. Interesting. Anyways, level shut off completely. Yep, shuts off completely. Distortion increases the high. This should make some noise, this pedal. Okay, now what does low do? Oh, everything goes down. Did you see it? Here, it's. Uh, let me leave it here and when we bring it back on. It increases. And high. Now what does high do? <laughs> oh. Okay. So this pedal has two peaks, as does the Boss HM2, but the one peak is at 1 kilohertz and the other peak is at 5 kilohertz with way broader Q value. Very curious how this pedal sounds. Let's find out.
So to make it short here, I don't really like this pedal. I think it has some high sizzle, this 4K peak, I think. Just don't like it. It doesn't come close to the original Boss HM2. The Boss is way more powerful and brutal, and this one just sizzly. So it's nothing for me. Sorry. But maybe it's for you. So let me know down in the comments if you actually like this pedal. Anyways, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. May the force be with you and have a nice day.